So the current projection is this current fiscal year, our economy is declining by 5% from the previous year. Next year, the projection is after the 5% decline, it will go up half a percent, 0.5. Um, but not, that's not an excuse. I'm just saying we're depending on what happens in the globe. And in part, I, I agree with you on issues like pension. We shouldn't say we promise this and then the next day take it back. On the other hand, things like health care, the estimate from the health care providers was going up 29%, the cost of health care. And on, the, on one hand, I think when you make promises to retirees that if you retire in the state, you know, your, your health care is paid for. Years back, after I became elected, one of the issues that we dealt with, which was a problem before, people used to work in the federal government, and maybe as some of you here, in 10 years before retirement, before they plan to retire, they would jump and work for the state government for 10 years. Because at that point in time, you could work for the state government 10 years, get the same benefits as somebody who would work 35 years in terms of health. So they were smart, they were Akamai, but we changed that to say, you can no longer just jump from here to here and expect lifetime retirement benefits for your family. Some things like that take time. Under the previous governor, Cayetano, knowing those were big costs, big costs for employees, one of the things he changed, or we and collective bargaining changed at the time, and collective bargaining is governor or the mayor, legislature or the council then agrees to fund it. It was a prospective, meaning future employees in the state would only get 10 holidays instead of 21. We we'll only get 10 sick days instead of 21. But under this governor, she gave it back. So my point is, we're trying to systemically reduce the cost of government that be fair to employees. It would be unfair if you enter government, any of you, with the promise of this much benefits in pension, this many benefits in health, this many holidays, this many sick days. It's sometimes those things change, but it would be not a good thing to just yank it. Collective bargaining can change some of those, but the prospective thing, the systemic things, I think we need to continue to look at because we cannot just have the cost of government, including many people in the room, cost of government just get away from us. So, and those ideas, some of you can help to suggest to us, but collective bargaining is with Ms. Governor, Mr. Mayor. But I don't remember anything else you want me to cover or I forgot anything you have.